Hi guys, welcome back to SSA Athletics and today we're going to be looking at the World Athletics Championships 1500 meter race. This race saw Jake Whiteman the surprising victor over Jakob Inge Blitzen. Now guys, if you liked more content, let's do the obligatory smash for subscriptions. Check out our webpage for more information about the club, well as our social media pages on Facebook to do with training tips and the club itself. Let's get into the video. One thing I note about the 1500 meters line, they start on the back straight, it's the metric mile. I mean, as we can see here, there's a curved line going around, but how much of an advantage would it actually give the person in the inside lane? I mean, they're so close to the actual 100 meters start line for the back straight. What would actually be the point? Of, would it give us too much advantage if they actually started on the straight itself? Jogs off the line just about. Kipsan goes to the front early on here. Stewie McSwain doesn't look too interested. So this is the point where they break. Some of them would like to get to the lead. Some would like to get in position. But basically you have to run yourself from that very short staggered break into the right position you need to be. So at the moment we've got Whiteman in third place. The Kenyans really trying to take it out. And not sure that's the right tactic. One of the Kenyans is anyway. And Jakob Inde Blitzen's further back in the pack. Being held up by another Kenyan and an Australian. So he has to run around. At the moment... Jake Whiteman on this bit has got a really nice position as they head down into the home straight. What you don't want to be though is boxed in. So it's a good running position, good posture. Second place front ran hard in his heat and semi. Maybe he doesn't need to do that today. Maybe Kipsang leading out for a chariot. So we get a rough idea of the shot there from their running position posture. It's bolt upright. There's a Kenyan leaning slightly forward. You can get away with that with the longer distance running middle distance running to a certain degree but generally you want to be bowled upright so you can get your legs to move further out. Now unlike the sprinting you don't need to necessarily get your knees up as high. That's the reason why sprinters want to be bowled upright so they can increase their leg strength. A lovely shot of the stadium, I love that shot. A lovely shot of that stadium in the back straight built specifically for the World Athletics Championship with money pumped in by Nike. And Chariot race hard to win it and Josh probably just waiting and can react to what the others are doing. So will Jake White and two to go. Here comes the Olympic champion. And now we see on the bend, we see Jakob Inge Blitzen running to the front. He likes to be more at the front so he can dictate pace and, and drag them all out after about the second, second lap. Generally at this level, most athletes will have a great kick. So it's generally not a good idea to try and lead it out from the front. You have to be smart when you do it because even the athletes who are, who are plodders have a good kick. So as you can see here, Inga Blitzen's finally made it round to the front, gradually getting through the pack, right up from the home straight. Um, Whiteman's kept with the South African here, and the pack is starting to splinter slightly. And on the home straight, what you have is an option to see the field on the big screen, so that you have an understanding who's behind you and how the other pack's doing, whether you're splintering or not. And you can get the television feed that way as well, so you get an understanding on who's behind you. I mean, there's some fantastic shots of the stadium here. Really good to the broadcasters for this. Out in front, Katia still a danger. Jake Whiteman makes the first move. Is it a big one? No. Okay, so Whiteman's now making his way through the field. Taking a little bit longer, but he's, he's not as gradual, so to speak, as what um, Inga Britson was doing. And the pack's now trying to keep up with them as well. They're on the final lap, so this is who's going to take it off from the 400 or they're going to take it off down the back straight. We will see. Okay, so Whiteman's a little bit lost. He's now having to fight his way out, which he's done. He's found a fantastic gap here, and he's pushing it on to Inge Blitzen. He's going to sit on his shoulder just for a little bit. Inge Blitzen don't like that, so he's going to try and go off. And yes, what a fantastic move there. He cannot from this point, and Jake Whiteman has another go. Josh Kerr will wait to the home straight, but Jake Whiteman... Whiteman's done. He's effectively gone in front. He's trying to box. Inga Britson in, or at least try and get into his head. He's going to get himself into position where what Inga Britson has to push on even harder in order to go around him and take on. That's a fantastic tactical move there. But he has to move around the outside of uh, Whiteman now in order to try and pass him. Therefore utilizing more energy and more distance of running. And as we can see there, the Kenyans got clipped and got pushed out of the way by Qatar, the Spaniard. So now they're down the home straight and it's just literally held to lever to the line at this point. Who's going to get it? And Whiteman's holding on compared to Inga Blitzen. Inga Blitzen's looking round, which is often a clue that you ain't got nothing in, in the bank left. 
and there's probably someone coming in. I wouldn't worry about that. My advice really would be to just try and go for it because the only person you can win at this point is you. The only person you can lose at this point is, well, you again. So try and go for the victory. The line's ahead of you. Don't worry about what's in behind you. Try and get it because you never know. You might be able to beat him on the dip of the line. And there we go. We got one shock victory, one surprise victory.